Hey, what's up guys? Keenan here. I know I've been gone for a little while, so I apologize for that. Been pretty busy, but uh, today I'm gonna talk about what you need to do in order to burn fat, but maintain muscle, even build a little bit of muscle too, um, while you're burning fat, so that you don't lose all your muscle. And uh, bef before we get started though, guys, real quick, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Um, let's get some conversations going. If you got a question about what I'm about to mention, just drop a comment and ask me. So, what I'm about to talk about is pretty simple. A lot of people know about it, but then there's a lot of people that don't know about it. I don't think it's popular enough. I don't think enough people do it. So, I'm gonna jump in and what you need to do is you need to cycle carbs. You gotta do some carb cycling. And the reason why you need to do this if you want to maintain muscle mass while you're burning fat is because when you're in a caloric deficit for an extended period of time, when you're in low carbs, your muscles are depleted from glycogen. Um, it's basically think of it like when your muscles are full of glycogen, they're like a grape, you know? That's how you want to think of it. But when your muscles are depleted, it's more like a raisin. So if you're trying to build muscle, trying to work, trying to be strong, trying to work out hard, trying to build muscle, how can you do that when your muscles are like raisins? You got to refeed them every once in a while. So that's why carb cycling works. Because on all those low carb days, your body's burning fat, but it's also gonna lose a little bit of muscle unless you refeed your muscles every few days and you know fill them back up with glycogen so that you can continue to push heavy weight, so that you continue to lift hard, lift heavy, and lift with good intensity. You gotta be able to work out hard you gotta be able to keep the intensity up. Um, if you're trying to, if you're, I mean, if you're trying to lose weight, that you're not worried about muscle, then you don't need to carb cycle because your body's just gonna continue burning fat. And if you're not worried about muscle, there's no reason to refeed um, with a bunch of glycogen. But um, if you're a bodybuilder, for instance, and you have a lot of lean mass on your body, you gotta refeed it every once in a while if you wanna keep it. So you have to you have to carb cycle. I've I've done count I've done plenty of research, but I've also done plenty of trial and error on my own body. And I can tell you firsthand, when I work out on low carbs, if I'm low carb for several days or a week straight and I try to do legs, it ain't happening, I'm dead. I can I can work out hard, but my strength ain't there. I can't do more, you, you cannot progressive overload. Let me put it this way, you can't progressive overload if you're not taking in carbs. Your muscles just will not have, your muscles will not have the boost. You won't have the oomph that you need to progressive overload. That's exactly what just happened to me on my last leg day. I was actually weaker than I was um, last week when I did legs. So I know for a fact, the low carbs uh, crushed my workout. My, you know, I didn't have the glycogen in there. Well, I felt weak, I felt tired. So you gotta refeed every few days or at least once every five days something like that refeed get your muscles back up with glycogen um, because also that glycogen is also going to put it's going to bring some more water into your muscles your muscles need water too so yeah guys cycle your carbs if you're wanting to burn fat but maintain muscle mass if you're a beginner, you're gonna gain muscle mass and burn fat at the same time because it's all brand new to your body. So 
Um, beginners, beginners do it. You'll make great progress off of it. And then if you are using some PEDs, if you are enhanced, you, I mean, you'll build muscle too while you're burning fat if you carb cycle. So that's what I wanted to mention in this video, guys. Is I don't think enough people talk about carb cycling. I don't see, like, I, I don't like when there's a lot of trainers out there that don't do it. Like, you, you, you got to. If you're trying to burn fat, you gotta, you gotta keep your calories pretty low. But you gotta add it. You gotta, uh, you gotta have that high carb bit. You gotta refeed. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, give this video a thumbs up if it was good info. Drop a comment if you have questions about carb cycling. Um, and again, thank you guys for watching. If you're already subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that like right now. Don't forget, go ahead and hit that button just right now. That way you can get notified when I post another. Well, actually you gotta hit the bell notification for that, but at least hit the subscribe button. That way you can see my next videos in your feed. And you know, hit the bell if you don't wanna miss any more of my videos. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. We'll catch you in the next video.